Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to discuss about the topic state space representation using phase variables method 3. Right. So here again we are considering a nth order differential equation whose input is u of t and the respective output is y of t. Right. And here this is our differential equation. Right. Here y refers to the output and u refers to the input. And here you see y, y side that is our output side consists of n term and our input side consists of m term. Right. So initially we are selecting the value of n is equal to m which is equal to 3. So therefore you see here that is this dot represents the differentiated form of y. Right. So here the value of n is 3. So y is differentiated thrice. You see here just substitute n equal to 3 here. When you substitute n equal to 3, 3 minus 1 is 2 right. So y is differentiated twice. So likewise just we are framing an expression like this right. Similarly for the u term also. So initially the value of m is 3 that is u is differentiated twice and here m minus 1 which is 2. So u is differentiated twice right. And the next step is taking Laplace transformations. So when you take Laplace transformation, you see here it is differentiated thrice. Therefore, S cube into Y of S plus A1 and Y is differentiated twice. Therefore, S square into Y of S plus A2 into Y is differentiated once. Therefore, S into Y of S and here there is no differentiation. Therefore, Y becomes Y of S, right? Similarly, when you consider the right hand side, B naught as such u differentiated thrice therefore s cube u of s and here differentiated twice therefore s square u of s and s into u of s and finally u of s right in the next step we are taking the y of s term outside on the left hand side and u of s outside in the right hand side so our expression holds like this right and the next thing is y of s by u of s that is output by input so we are having a expression like this right so the next step is we are splitting this expression into two that is y of s by u of s is written as x1 of s by u of s into y of s by x1 of s right so when these two terms cancel each other again we will be having y of s by u of s right so that's the thing and here we are dividing this expression into two individual terms that is here x1 of s by u of s is taken as the denominator part so 1 by this s cube plus a1 s square plus a2 s plus a cube and again you see when you look at this part that is y of s by x1 of s this is equal to the numerator term here you see this term so it is written as b naught s q plus b1 s square plus b2 s plus b3 right the next step is we are considering our first term that is x1 of s by u of s we are having this expression right the next step is doing cross multiplication so when you cross multiply this is your first step and the next thing is we are going to multiply this x1 of s within the terms inside the bracket right so when you multiply we are having an expression like this and the next step is taking inverse laplace transform so when you take inverse laplace transform again what happens here the maximum that is the highest power is 3 here so this x1 is differentiated thrice right and here s square so x1 is differentiated twice and here we are having s to the power 1 so it is differentiated once and here there is nothing so a3 x1 equal to u Right. So from this expression, we are going to assign the state variables. Since x1 is already given in the expression, okay, we are not assigning anything to x1. So we are gradually moving to x2 and x3. Right. So here we are having x1. So leave it. The next thing is x1 dot. This x1 dot is equal to x2 and this x1 double dot is equal to x3, which in turn, that is when x1 is double differentiated what happens we are again differentiating this x1 which means that x2 is differentiated once right 
So here we are writing x2 dot and the next string is x1 triple dot is nothing but here it is double dot right when it is again differentiated then x3 dot we can write it as x3 dot right so here we are framing state variables like this right so after framing these values we are going to substitute in this equation number a so when you substitute you see here this is the given expression right so x1 triple dot which is nothing but this is equal to x cube dot right and x1 double dot is equal to here x3 right so likewise you just substitute the values and finally frame an expression in terms of x3 dot right so here the state equations are we already have x1 dot and x2 dot and we have framed expression for x3 dot also right mark it as equation number one here now consider the second part of the transfer function. So y of s by x1 of s is given by this expression. Again the next step is cross multiplication right. So after cross multiplying just multiply these terms with x1 of s also. So here is our expression. Again we are going to take inverse Laplace transform. So the same thing gets repeated here. You see the maximum power is 3. So this x1 is differentiated thrice right and s square so x1 is differentiated twice s power 1 differentiated once here there is nothing so you just leave as such right so again we are going to substitute the state variables here so again the same thing here just the thing which we did in the previous case these are all the values right now again substitute these values in this equation so when you substitute the values we are having an expression like this right you see this x1 triple dot is equal to x3 dot so here x3 dot right and here x1 double dot x1 double dot is equal to x3 so substitute x3 and x1 double x1 dot here x1 dot is equal to x2 right just simply substituting that's it so here we are having an another expression name it as equation number 2 here now we are going to substitute this 2 in our equation number 1 right so sorry we are going to substitute 1 in equation number 2 right so here what is 1 so this is our equation number 1 right so just substitute x3 dot value you see we are having an expression for x3 dot so just substitute it over here right after substituting as usual just multiply the terms right after multiplying just rearrange the terms accordingly so here x1 x2 x3 and u term right so finally we are going to represent it in matrix form right so here x1 dot x2 dot x3 dot the same thing we are having three expressions from the expression just write down the matrix right so x1 dot will be equal to x2 so the coefficient of x2 is 1 so here x1 and x3 terms are marked 0 right so likewise just fill the matrix here so this matrix gets multiplied by x1 x2 and x3 plus and again here where we are having the u value you see our final expression that is x3 dot has only u right and the coefficient of u is 1 right. So here the first expression doesn't contain any u so 0 and second expression also do not contain any u so it is 0 and finally 1 multiplied by u matrix right. And finally when writing expression for y you see y and the coefficient of y are that is coefficient of x1 is this x2 is this and x3 is this right so write down the coefficients which gets multiplied by x1 x2 and x3 plus and finally we are having b0 multiplied by u right so here we had finally obtained the state model matrix form right so again with the help of this above equations we can write expressions for nth order differential equation right so here nth order differential equation again the same thing okay nothing new so here it is 
xn and the previous is xn minus 1 right these are differentiated forms so here again x1 x2 xn minus 1 and xn so here we are we are going to write the terms again you see when you look at this matrix we are having that upper of diagonal elements are having 1 right and here the last row has negative coefficients right the same thing we have to proceed that too you see here it is th 3 it is 2 it is 1 that is uh, order is gradually decreasing the same way we have to write again you see the upper diagonal elements will are 1 okay and the last row has all negative terms you see minus a n minus 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 and here n for example let n be 4 here right so 4 minus 1 3 4 minus 2, 2 and the order is gradually decreasing. That's it. Which gets multiplied by again the same thing. Everything, all terms are 0 except the last term and which gets multiplied with u here. Right. The same thing for output expression also. Here we are replacing the term number by n. You see. So this is our equation. Right. You see again b3, b2 b1 right and here b0 into u so while writing generalized expressions again we are having the same bn bn minus 1 and b2 right and here x1 x2 which gets multiplied by this x1 x2 terms plus b0 into u right so here comes the end of this derivation if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section thank you